Hello everyone. Welcome back to Heart History. My name is Dennis Songoso and I'm going to present a topic in electrical engineering under AC circuits. In our previous lesson, we learned on the same topic, AC circuits, but we analyzed about resistance. And we managed to come up with this expression that resistance is given by low L and A, where we say that the low is the resistivity, L is the length, and A is the cross-sectional area. And the SI unit of this is ohms. And we managed to come up with uh, some factors which can affect or can influence the magnitude of resistance. One, we say the length of the conductor, and we say that when you increase the length of the conductor, you also increase the, the, re the resistance of the other conductor. If you reduce the length, you also reduce the, it's because R is proportional to L. Uh, factor number two we discussed last time is the uh, A area of the cross-sectional cross area. We said that since uh, resistance is inversely proportional to area, as you increase the area, you reduce the, re the resistance. When you, re you, you reduce the area, you increase the resistance. Uh, number three, we said the nature of the conductor, that is resistivity. With the conductors, they hover low resistance with the flow of current as compared to uh, semiconductors. Uh, finally, we talked about temperature. We see that as the temperature increases, it, it decreases, it also increases the resistance, and when you reduce the temperature, you reduce the resistance. Now let us go back to our today's topic. Today we want to analyze how you can co construct an AC circuit. An AC circuit should consist of a, a resistor and a, either an inductor or an inductor or a, a capacitor. So let us start with the R R AC circuits. R mean, uh, means resistance, L means inductance. So R L circuits, that means uh, a circuit which is comprising of a resistor and an inductor. So if you want to construct a circuit, we might use this symbol to represent resistance, this coil to represent inductance, and maybe this is the supply. This is a circuit, a symbolist circuit of an AC circuit. We know R. L, inductance, inductance is given in uh, Henry. This is the SI unit of inductance. Uh, in an electrical circuit, it is uh, not uh, acceptable to combine resistance and inductance. You have to convert this to what we call inductive reactance, you know, what we call inductive reactance. Reactive reactance, we normally denote using this XL. And the XL is given by, XL is given by, by, uh, by LC. is given by omega L, which is equivalent to 2 pi Fc. So this is the formula. Now, when you have used this formula, you now change the SI unit of that to ohms. And now, 2 pi is a constant. F is the frequency of the supply. And in our Kenyan system of transmission of electrical energy, that is AC, it is normally done at a standardized frequency, which is 50 hertz. 
So whenever you meet a question in a, maybe in an exam or somewhere, if the frequency is not specified, we normally take an assumption that it is a fifth hertz. So frequency is given by hertz. This is the SI unit of that. So after combining this, you get XL. Now after having this, there's what we call impedance triangle. Embedance triangle. Embedance triangle. The this side is labeled R. This one is XL, and this one is Z. Z is the embedance. Embedance of series the embedance that's the embedance means a combination of resistance and inductive reactance or inductive capacitance in the case of RC circuits. As by this, now we can call it this angle theta. In, 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 in mathematically, we can express embedance Z as R plus J. X L. We are introducing uh, introducing J because X L is uh, uh, an inductive. We call it an inductive element. So that means it does not co consume any power. The issue is it charges and it, and it discharges to the other circuits. So it is not consuming any power. That's why we introduce this. Now for you to get the magnitude of the impedance, now after combining the two, we normally use this expression, R squared plus XL squared square root. If we use this, you get the impedance of that circuit. That means a combination of uh, R resistance and inductive reactance. And the SI unit is ohms. On the other hand, we can talk about we can talk about uh, power factor. Power factor of that circuit. Power factor of that circuit is normally given by the cosine of this angle theta. And the power factor is uh, fairly essential in. Uh, an electrical transmission system because it is only the power factor which can be improved in your system for you to reduce the, the charges you are being uh, charged by the, by the companies which are uh, giving us the electricity. So the power factor, we normally use power factor is given by cos theta, that angle. Using, uh, using this formula, so katoa cosine is here. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos, cos theta equals to adjacent R over Z. Therefore, power factor is simply R over Z. So this is how you express that. I think to that extent you can uh, see that uh, we have come up with some formulas to express that. And uh, the, the inductance is not uh, being expressed in, a, in a this circuit simply because in this circuit the, uh, the, uh, the frequency is zero. So when the frequency is zero, and you are applying this formula that XL is 2 pi FC and F is 0, it means XL does not exist. That's why in uh, these circuits, there's a that's kind of uniqueness. But these AC circuits, inductance of, an, uh, inductance of a line, for example, if it is a single phase, 
inductance of a line can be given as we discussed earlier that can be given by 10 minus 7 into a half plus 2 lean d over r energy per meter per face so this is the formula for getting this inductance we normally use this yeah d is the distance of separation of the two conductors and r is the radius of that cross-sectional or the cross-sectional radius of that connector so today we have uh, discussed on the uh, RLC circuits and uh, we have managed to come up with some expressions and we have seen that XL is given by 2 pi FL Z is given by R squared plus X L squared and then square root the unit is ohm, ohm. and uh, we have to say that power factor is given by a cos by a cos theta which is the same as R over Z so to that extent we can stop by that keep tuned to uh, Elimo TV thank you